Let me let me ask you, was it hard? Is it is it hard to learn five languages? Welcome to Ask Tetsu. I was raised in multiple languages and today I'm sharing tips on how I'm raising my own four kids in five languages. So let's get into this. All parents think that everything they are doing is in the best interest of the kids. And this seems to be especially the case when it comes to bilingual and multilingual education. But what, do, but what do the kids think? Do they appreciate what you're doing for them or do they actually hate it? Well, why don't we ask them? Hey, Ronnie and Nika. Hey. How are you today? Good. Really good. <laughs> First, let's, uh, let's tell everybody, uh, which languages do you speak? Um, um, I... Okay, Ronnie first. One. One is English. Nika second. Now, um, Japanese. And French. Spanish. And Mandarin. Good. Chinese. <laughs> Mandarin Chinese. Okay. How, 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 how does Daddy teach you Chinese? Like speaking? There you go. Just by speaking. Okay. So, how did you learn French? By speaking, speaking in Canada, mm -hmm. in uh, my school. At your school, okay. So how did you learn Japanese? In Japan yeah. school. At the school in Japan and also because? Mommy. Okay, so you speak Japanese with mommy? Yes. And what about uh, English? How did you learn English? English, Canada. We don't mm -hmm. speak so much English, but we sometimes learn on on YouTube or okay. on Netflix. Okay, so everything you watch is in English. So, do you like being able to speak five languages? Yes, of course, because I can go to a lot of places. Well, but you we want to can go. yeah go to because Japan, Canada, mm -hmm. and and the other time. I wanted to Taiwan. Let me let me ask you, was it hard? Is it is it hard to learn five languages? Yeah, it a is? little. No. A no. Little? No. Oh, no, no, because my dad taught me all my five languages when I was small and I don't know why I can't speak these languages <laughs> okay. sometimes. Oh. Okay. What about you? Is it hard? A little. A little? Which one is hard? Um Chinese. Chinese is hard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Japanese? Not. Not so much? Not so much. What about French? A little, but A little. I am good at oh. good at um, reading books. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. What about English? Um, um no. No. Easy. No. What about Spanish? A little. Okay. No. A little. A little. I don't okay. think any so of Ronnie doesn't languages. think it's hard at all. Nika, some languages are harder than others. Yeah. Yeah. But but you like them all. Yes. Really? Yes. For the five languages that you speak, which one is the easiest? English. Japanese. Japanese. And which one is the hardest? Chinese. Chinese. Oh. Well, there you go. You heard it from, straight from the source. We tried to create an environment for our children to naturally use their five languages. And so far it appears to be working very well. And more importantly, we are glad to know that they appreciate their special skills <laughs> and don't find it hard to learn these five languages. Well, particularly, Nika for some, but she's working hard at it. Do you have any questions for them? If you do, please comment below and uh, we'll try to pick it up for future sessions. And if you like, what you just heard and saw, please give this video a thumbs up! Yeah! And if you want to learn more about various concepts and strategies that we employ to raise our kids in five languages, please check out the playlist in that corner. <laughs> and if you want to see our kids speaking various languages, please click on the playlist right below this window. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. You?